So these are the reject rings from the candles that I made. That's on Instagram now. I don't know if you've seen it on YouTube yet. So these are 12 piece segmented rings made from reclaimed pallet wood. These were the rejects because there was some cracks in the seams just from moving around from humidity. So I think I'm calling these my re-recycled rings, trademark. So I did one ring to learn what I'm doing here. It's a similar process to my wavy vase project from last year, but it's smaller and requires more precision. So it requires a different set of tools, conveniently named the precision carving system. So if you've seen me before, you know ArborTech makes the best power carving tools. This one here is basically just an adapter that threads right under the arbor of your tool. And there's three attachments. There's a cylindrical head cutter, a ball, which is basically a mini ball gouge, and then this little drum sanding attachment. So I'll tell you more about ArborTech tools at the end of the video, but the link for the precision carving tools is down in the description. You can click that after you're done watching this video. Be patient. So I'm gonna pre-finish these rings here on the top and bottom faces. So when I do the glue up next, I don't have to worry so much about the squeeze out because instead of it absorbing into the wood, I can just rub it off of the pre-finished surface. Continue. Um. Oh, hi. Hello there. Welcome to an undisclosed location in upstate New York. I'm currently here working on a secret project, two years in the making. Wavy vase, wavy vase. That was fun, right? <laughs>
Wanted to make this project to try out the brand new precision carving system from Arbor Tech. Drops today, this day this video comes out. It's a new detailed carving product that attaches directly to your angle grinder, just like all the other Arbor Tech tools, except for the full tools like the mini carver, which you saw me use in this video. So I use the cylindrical cutter head to carve the shape of all these pieces. I use the drum sander attachment to do the rough, rough sanding. Rough sanding was done with the mini carver and the finished sanding was done with the contour sander. Links to all of those tools are down below. Go check them out for yourselves. We're also doing a giveaway, giving away this right here, the mini wavy vase. Link for that is also in the description. Don't miss out. So as I said earlier in the videos, all these rings came from the pallet wood candles that I made. That's gonna be a build video pretty soon. Check out my Instagram for real time updates on that to see why I'm here, maybe, and other projects like the pallet wood candles and other things that I'm currently working on that don't take forever to edit, like a YouTube video. Thank you for watching and uh, see you next time. Oh, you want it to do this bit? <laughs> no, that was good.